All right, now we're gonna apply the reverse stack from that situation when I have both these on the floor and he got the last one here, the lapel. Here, and let's say he lasso the lapel like this and he's controlling. He can hold the, the lapel like this or like that, okay? So usually um, they hold and feel more comfortable like this. Okay, grab a little bit deeper. So the good thing of this position, when you start passing the guard, his leg will be trapped uh, on, the, on his own, on my, on my lapel actually. So he's gonna be trapped in his own position, okay? So again, usually I'm here and he start getting the lasso. I drop both knees on the floor and then I put my hand behind his leg right here, okay? And I start going with my arm inside here, okay, his leg. All right, right here. If I can go over his arm, it's better because then I can reach uh, his neck. And I start moving around. And now I put the pressure there. I put the pressure on his neck right here. Okay, and I start choking him right there. Okay, if he doesn't tap, he's probably gonna let go of the lapel. Okay, and then I start putting the weight on him, dropping my rib on his face, okay? And I like to control here, okay? So keep the lapel here, keep, if you keep the lapel there, no problem, I just keep here, all right? But you see that Mateus was shaking his leg to, to, get the, to get some freedom, okay? To feel free, because he was trapped, all right? Now, after he stopped moving, like start moving here, start fast, so I try to work, I hold him, let go, place my hand in the front of his hips, put my rib cage against his face, and got a really good side smash. Uh, side smash, no, smash the face on the north-south, right here, okay? Thank you. So you got the last one. And I take advantage of having my opponent escaping the hips that way, so I can go here. All right, if I can grab, turn around. As soon as he does that, I escape your hips, I go here. And if I can move around really fast, I can do it too, all right? I don't need to go and aim for finger inside. If I wanna go like fast like this, I just hug his head in here. And I start to be on the side, trapping. He's gonna feel really uncomfortable. And one thing that I like to do is stepping over his foot, his leg. Now he's really, really trapped here, okay? So I just stop here, go back, move around, hold his uh, shoulder. I was holding under his head. I go over the shoulder, pressure, okay? And I just wait, all right? So the lapel is trapped, okay? But I'm on his side. He's gonna feel really uncomfortable here, okay? My hand goes on this side. And right here, I can start applying the paper cut choke as we learned before. Okay, put my head on the floor and then finish my opponent. All right, one more time. Let's say he, she would do that on the other side. So he grabs the lapel and get the lasso like this and start moving upside down. I go here, okay? I can grab his shoulder here. He's gonna try to turtle again, okay? I gotta bring his leg here and I keep my weight on him, all right? Just apply a lot of pressure taking my knees off the mat, and then bring him over my lap. And now I can stay on the side, grabbing his head. So right here, we are both like trapped, but I'm trapped on his side. It's really hard for him to move, okay? And I just take, uh, take my time, all right? Because he will need to free his leg in order to escape from this. And the only way for him to escape is like shaking his legs. All right. So the same thing that we did from the squid guard here, squid guard. So right here, I go this way and move around. It's the same thing when he's using the lapel, okay? Like this, escaping the hips and go here okay? and move this way. So I hug his shoulder, putting my shoulder on his shoulder here and I lift his leg off the mat here, okay? I can grab under his head as well, bring his head underneath of me, 
and start smashing right here. Okay, so now I can't apply the pressure right here. You start moving, I just keep holding him, okay? If you like to grab four fingers inside the neck, great. You can start uh, choking your opponent. Just like so, look. Here, he goes, look at my hand, it goes right here. And then I start applying the choke here, okay? Then you can make him give up right there, right away.